Shalom everyone, it's Miss Amber, and today we're going to do some caning with everyone. I know that most of us have these ingredients at home, and if not, you probably should because they're really simple. So I've mixed baby food, baby cereal, it could be the barley, the wheat, whichever kind that you have at the house, food coloring, and water. And then in this one, I've mixed flour, salt, food coloring, and water. And today we're going to paint a picture. So because we have siblings, I know that this is something that we can do together. Everyone can get their own paint brushes. We're going to start off with the baby food and food coloring water. We're going to dip it in the paint. We're gonna paint a pretty picture. How about we paint, let's see, let's think of something that's purple. How about we paint a purple ball? So we start off with our circle. And we're just gonna keep on making circles or we can make whichever shapes you like. And the good thing about using the baby food is that this is edible. So if anybody wants to taste it, they're more than welcome to. Who knows, it might taste yummy or it might taste yucky. We don't know yet. And they can paint on the same piece of paper or a different sheet of paper. The point is for them to paint a picture and try to use their fine and gross motor skills at the same time. This is a good thing for them to practice. I'm gonna paint. And as you see, I painted a purple ball. And what you could also do is the younger siblings like Violet and Eloise, Macy, Rhett, and Isla and Marla can all paint the circles and maybe their older siblings can add to the circles and maybe turn the circle into a flower. And you can use all different colors of food coloring. You definitely need to give it a little minute to dry because it's going to dry clumpy. I wouldn't keep it for very long because you don't want any ants to show up because this is food. And I would paint at the table or paint outside on your front porch or on the back porch. And then it's almost finished. And there we go. We have a purple flower. And this is using the baby cereal, flour, and water and food coloring. And then with our Flour, salt, water, and food coloring. We're gonna paint something, since we're using yellow, let's think of something that's yellow. How about a yellow? <gasps> hmm, what's yellow that's really pretty to paint? How about we paint a yellow car? So we're gonna paint our car or make a car with the paint. And once you do it, the flower and food coloring should be a little thicker than the one you use with the baby cereal. So we're just gonna do a simple little car or whatever shape you like. Miss Amber's gonna do a car or something that looks like a car. Hopefully turns out like a car. Or Maybe a mushroom, I don't know. It kind of looks like a little baby car. <laughs> but you can do whatever shape you like. And this is also to use with your siblings because it's fun to paint with other people. One person can paint the car, someone else can add to it so we can make the road for the car. And this is just using these simple ingredients. And this is a fun activity for everyone to do and if you don't want to use cups 
Um, you can use how you have your party trays that have the different sections in them. You can make each section a different color or each day you can do a, co a different color. But this is just something you can do that's easy with ingredients you have around the house and just a fun activity for everyone to do. Today, I've made little noisemakers slash stacking blocks for the kids to use. Once again, I'm using materials you should be able to find around the house. I know most of the kids are going into solid foods, but I know a lot of you still have the little empty baby containers that you have. So it could be a container like this. It can be a Tupperware container, just something that you can use that you can put things in and the kids can stack things on top. So I put beads inside this one. So this one has beads. This one has Cheerios. So you can put something edible. This one has popcorn seeds. And this one has their little noodles in the shapes of letters. But you could use rice, you can use macaroni noodles, and you can even dye the noodles yourself. You just use food coloring and I want to say I think vinegar, but it's I would definitely look up the recipe before you do it and be careful with the food coloring also because some people are allergic to food coloring. But today I've put all put all these materials inside of here and we're gonna play a stacking game. So with the babies, they're starting to pick up a lot of things. So what I like to do is I'll stack one on top and then I'll stack the next one and then I'll stack the next one. And so what they usually end up doing is knocking it over and they laugh and then I start to stack it up again and I'll start with, and I'll start to count when I do. So I'll go one, two, three, four. And then they'll knock it over again and then they laugh. And then what you can do at home is that you can get all of their siblings. So Hazel and Isla could come along and Hazel could stack two on top of each other. And then Isla can stack the next two on top of each other. And then with um, Violet, Sawyer, and Stella, what they can do is they can maybe mix them up so they can start with all four out together and then they can mix them up and try to play a little game with them and then hand one to Violet and have her grab it and then she can shake it and then Stella can grab one she can shake it and then Sora can grab one and then they all can shake them all together and then with Macy, I know Macy really likes to open things up. So for her, I would definitely put things that are edible in hers and I would stack them up. And then as she gets to the top, I would open one and have her get one of the things that are inside. Like this one has Cheerios. So I would open it up, give her a Cheerio and let her try it. Or maybe even let her pick out a Cheerio from inside of here. So definitely if you're gonna do this, make sure there's an adult around too so that if you're all gonna open these, that they can be, uh, watch them so they don't choke on anything. With Marla, she's still little and she's learning to pick things up, but with Marla, I would just fill them with colorful things that she likes and just shake them all day, to make a little music game with it. With Rhett, Rhett is definitely gonna want you to stack them all up He's going to knock them down, I don't know how many times. And with Callie, Callie can help Brett stack them back up together and knock them down. Or Callie could say, no, Brett, let's do this. And you can try to make like a different design with them. I mean, it doesn't matter how many of these you have together. The point is that you're they're learning to use their gross motor skills to stack the things on top and fine motor skills to pick up the things that are inside. And with Eloise, you have Stella and Christian. There is just so many things you can do with them. Christian can help her count out the pieces that are in here. Stella could 
easily help her stack them on top of each other. And Eloise will probably just smile and laugh because that's what she usually does with them. So hopefully this is an easy activity that you guys can do together as a family and hopefully have the materials at home to use because we have a lot of things in our house, houses that kids love to play with. And to me, sometimes it's more simpler, the better. If you give them a cardboard box, they would play with it all day. So just keep that in mind that, you know, they do get bored of their toys and they do like simple things. So I hope you enjoy and we'll see you soon. Hi friends, it's me again, Miss Monique. Now we're gonna be uh, doing two activities. Um, and again, you big kids, big brothers and sisters, you can help your little ones with this one. Uh, you can ask mom and dad what they have around the house to help with this. For the first one, we're gonna make a little activity board <clears throat> that your little brothers and sisters can play with. For this project, I got some we got a zipper here, we got a bottom and an elastic, and I put, I tied the bottom at one end of the elastic. I have some magnets, and I have some shapes cut out, and um, I have stickers to decorate the activity board, and I, al I also have Velcro. So we're gonna need your mom and dad help to use the hot glue or you can just tape it very well because you know how strong these little ones are and i already glued the zipper and the elastic but i'm gonna put some hot glue on one end of the magnet and i'm gonna put magnets on the back of whatever shape you chose to use. I have something that looks like wings right here and have little hearts poking on the bottom. And I'm also gonna use the Velcro, who is itself is thick. And these are all simple things that the little ones in this classroom love to play with and for the velcro the other end of the velcro make sure when you cut it the part that you're gonna be peeling or pulling you uh, cut a little bit bigger than the part that is gonna be on the board so the little ones have a starting point where they can peel it and I also put a little string on it so it's easier for us to keep track on where the parts are. Otherwise, once they peel it, it might get lost, get under the couch. You never know. So I punctured a hole in the cardboard and I'm just gonna tie this string and that is something that the little ones love playing with they like the noise they like the commotion it happens when they pull it and if you laugh about it or make a like big motion about it they enjoy it and they really have fun doing it just like the zippers, the zipper is always a win. Every time you're wearing something with zippers, they try to play with it. And I also put a little string there so it can make it easier for them to pull it up. And they might be able to pull it down, but not be able to pull up. So that's when big brothers and sisters jump in to help. And now that I have the wings here, they like pulling it up and putting it back. Make sure you glue the right end of the magnet and you can go around the house and see what kind of stickers you have. I like this sky. That means I also love the stars. So that's what I picked here. I'm gonna decorate it with some stars around. 
you can find stickers with your favorite animals on it you can if you happen to make the food painting that Miss Amber taught us how to do you can use that paint to paint around too and there you go you have a little activity board a zipper elastic you have magnets you have velcro and mom and dad can decide to just tape it on the floor or tape it on the wall and i am sure this will keep your little ones entertained for a while so that was our activity board the other sensory activity you're going to be doing today is very simple and very messy and messy is good sometimes so i recommend when you do that that you put the other ones on the high chair or you do it outside or maybe you can do it right before bath time so you make sure they're on their diapers it's an easy clean up but can get a little bit messy and we only need water and cornstarch for this i also have food coloring but you don't really need it in fact not putting food coloring may make it an easier cleanup we don't really need a lot of water so as a pour here you're going to see it's just a little water the more water you put the harder it will be because you're going to need a lot of cornstarch so you put a little bit of water up oh, i was forgetting if you were using food coloring it's going to be easy to put in the water before you put the cornstarch so i picked green little drops and mix it up and now i'm going to put the cornstarch there's not a right or wrong amount of starting water. You don't want to make it too hard. Otherwise, the little ones won't be able to fill it. So I put one big spoon and it's still not enough. One full spoon, not a big spoon. I'm going to put one more. Just stir. You want the most liquid, but not too much. Put one more. Stir. And when you see it start to get lumpy, that's when it's starting to get right and what's gonna happen some of the corn stars are gonna set on the bottom so it might look liquid on the top but when the babies are playing with it just a little bit more i'm sure it's gonna happen they're gonna dip their fingers in it and it might look like it's water but when they pull up it's gonna be gooey and that's a good sensory activity for them so they can experience new textures so I'll give a little try and almost there so I think I've put around five spoons by now and this should be enough yeah it's getting harder to mix that's what we want, but we don't want it too hard. If you put any more than this, it's going to be hard. That's what we want. See, it looks very liquid on the top, but when you try to stir it, See, it's not too liquid. And I 
there comes the fun part that is just playing with it and it's all gooey and messy and if mom and dad and big brother and sister try to do it you're gonna feel when you dip it feels like water but as soon as you touch the bottom there's something else in there and the babies might try to eat it <laughs> so watch out if you have any food allergies It is a fun activity. Um, don't make it very close to anything important because I've seen some splashes. And they might try to eat, they might try to put their face on it. But it's an easy and fun activity. It's great for outdoors. It's a very, very easy cleanup. Doesn't need much at all. When you're done, you can just probably bathe them because you're gonna need it and we'll come right up. So, there you go. I'm all clean. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you another time.